Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, good day. A lot of people ask, why do we need assault rifles? Why do we need AR-15s? I really can't answer that question any better than to tell you the story I'm about to tell you that happened to me. I was at home one day, uh, early Saturday morning. I was in the bed. The sun was shining. It was a beautiful day outside. I had just gotten out of the bed, wiping the sweet sleep out of my eye and listening to the birds chirp outside when I heard a loud boom on my door. Boom, 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 boom. And it happened about three more times after that. So I quickly grabbed the pistol uh, that was by my bedside and I ran to my kitchen window where I could see who was banging at my back door. As I reached the kitchen window, I noticed that there were about four or five guys um, leaving my back door, walking through my backyard towards the alley. And a couple of them looked as if they had uh, weapons in their hands and a couple of them were reaching in their pockets like they had weapons. So I knew right then and there that the uh, Springfield uh, the XDM 40 cal that I grabbed probably wasn't gonna be enough to handle the situation. So I ran to my room and I grabbed my AR-15. As I ran from my room to the front of the house to check my checkpoint, my security checkpoints along the way, I noticed about eight more guys on the corner approaching my house. And I saw about three of them having uh, pistols in their hands, okay? So now we're looking at a total of about 13 guys approaching me some of them armed with, with, obviously armed with weapons, and some of them possibly armed with weapons. Now, let's say that we give the benefit of the doubt to the anti-gunners, and let's say everybody, every one of them had 10 rounds in their weapon, okay? So we're looking at approximately 70 to 80 rounds coming my way. If I'd have kept my Springfield XDM 40 cal with its limited amount of magazines, I mean, it's a standard magazine for that gun, but that's only... 15 rounds, okay? My AR was the best for the tool for the job, the best tool for the job. I stepped onto my porch with my AR hidden behind my hip or my right side, and I tried to verbally de-escalate the situation. Didn't work. They weren't hearing what I was trying to say, okay? They shot out some, some, some threats to take my weapons when I was gone. They shot out some nasty words. Some nasty looks were shot out. But fortunately enough, uh, one of them saw my weapon and shot it out. Dude got a tech in his hand. So on that day, fortunately, my AR saved my behind because after they saw that, they decided that might not be a smart thing to do, okay? And those negative words, those negative looks and all that, that's the only thing that was shot that day. And my AR saved my life. And on that day, the reason for why I needed an AR was earned and not learned. This is my AR-15. This is the weapon that saved my life that day. Now, I remember looking on YouTube one time and I saw a clip of Whoopi Goldberg on whatever talk show she's on in the morning saying how oh, who needs weapons of mass destruction and AR-15s are assault weapons of mass destruction and this, that, and the other, mass destruction, this. I mean, she just went on and on and on. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure these aren't the weapons that we went overseas looking for. There were no crates of SKSs and, and, and AR-15s and Mini-14s and whatevers to be found. I've never heard of a nuclear SKS or a nuclear AK. So let's be real about things. I also heard some civil rights leaders talk about uh, AR-15s can take down jumbo jets and derail trains. And I mean, let's be real, y'all. That, that'll never happen. Unless you directly shoot the driver or the pilot or the, the conductor of the train, that's not going to happen. Recently, President Obama visited Connecticut and gave a speech. In his speech, he blatantly said that the shooter used a, auto, a fully automatic Bushmaster AR-15. Now, we know that's not true. Let's stop trying to pass lies as truth and scare the people into feeling a certain way and acting on that feeling. Let's tell them the truth. Let's fight with the let's fight with reality. Let's fight with facts. Let's fight with the fact that semi-automatic weapons are responsible for less than 3% of all violent crimes committed with firearms. And the AR-15 is a subset of that and has even smaller numbers. So let's use our minds and do our homework. Let's not try to pass off shit for sugar. It's not going to work. The American people are smarter than that. 
I'm not opposed to you not liking AR-15s or you wanting to have a, a platform that's against something that, that I like and many other Americans like. I'm not opposed to that. You have that right. But just do your damn homework. Know what the weapon does, what it doesn't do. Know what it is before you go out speaking lies about it and trying to pass those lies as truth. Stop living your life based on ignorance and misconceptions. Stupid is as stupid does. That's what I always heard. Stay safe. Stay the course. Peace.